whether he's in the lineup tomorrow. Hit in the air to right field. Back goes Baker out of the track. Back at the wall. It's out of here. Daniel Murphy breaks his home run drought. A two-run shot. His first home run of the season, and it's 4-1 to New York. Murphy had gone 352 at bats going back to last year. We thought for sure that this might be the day with the wind blowing out and he gets the silent treatment as he comes back to the dugout. <laughs> well, of course he is. He's been waiting all season long for that home run. And Murphy hits another one in the air to deep center field. Back goes Mather near the wall. It's out of here. Well, he went a year without a home run. Now he's hit him in back-to-back -back at bats. Murphy with his second of the day, his second of the year. And it's 10-1 to New York. Why not? <laughs> this time they'll greet him. Yes. <laughs> What a coming out party for Murphy, and we talked about it a couple days ago that the rest of this game, the rest of the games up to the break were important for Murph. And Murphy hits one out to left field, chasing Soriano back to the track near the wall. It's out of here. Daniel Murphy takes one the other way, his third home run of the year to tie the game. Well, on a day that the wind is blowing in, Murphy's ball got a nice burst of energy and sailed out to left field. Third home run for Murphy, and the Mets tie the game at two. Have you seen the... Uh... And Murphy drives one deep right field. Back goes Sherholtz looking up, and it's out of here! Daniel Murphy continues to own Wrigley Field, and he puts the Mets in front four to three. His second home run of this series is fourth of the year. And his fourth in his last four games at Wrigley. Lagaris ties it to the seventh, and now Murphy unties it to the eighth. You know, the Mets hadn't been getting any production out of the leadoff spot. Murphy failed at his first three at bats today, but not this time. He turned on that fastball, right? Belt high, inner half. He's filling every zone. And this ball is drilled to right center field. It is deep. Man alive. Daniel Murphy has homered for the fifth straight postseason game. Unbelievable. Must have threw that one in the strike zone. Even if you're a teammate of a guy this hot, you start to shake your head. It's that sinking fastball away, but it was up. A 1 1 in the air. Deep right center field. That ball is gone. Daniel Murphy has homered in six straight postseason games. Nobody's ever done it before. Who writes this stuff? Ray Bradbury, science fiction. It's not really happening. Can't be. Murphy ropes a curveball to deep right center field, and the Nationals are on the board early. Daniel Murphy with home run number 18 gives the Nationals the 2 0 lead. Cubs know all about Murphy, the NLCS MVP in 2015. He gets the Nationals off to a great start here in game one. They're missing over a month. And the 2 0 driven in the air to left center deep. Schwarber back near the track at the wall, and Murphy's got another one. Number 19 for Murphy. It's Daniel Murphy, three, and the Cubs, nothing. His fifth career multi homer game in his second this year. Murphy, a high fly ball, deep left center. Approaching the bleachers. See you later. Murphy, the other way for his fifth of the year. 
and it's 5-1 Washington. The Cub killer. Don't worry, Mets, he's got another team he hates. It's the Cubs.